Osama bin Laden is still a fugitive, uh, and the FBI, the CIA, and all of the U.S. Army have been looking for him. They can't find him. However, on September 23rd, the FBI could find a 73-year-old uh, machetero in his home in Puerto Rico. Uh, let's take it over to reporter Ismael Nunez, who will discuss this uh, very tra this tragic and controversial event. Ismael? Thank you, Robert. Well, Filiberto Herrera Rios wasn't just a fighter for Puerto Rican independence. This was an individual who was a very talented musician. It is believed that he performed with many well-known Latin bands here in the 1950s. In 1985, in August of 1985, he was arrested as a member of the Macheteros. Five years later, he jumped bail. Now, despite the fact that he jumped bail, the United States issued a $1 million bounty on this individual. And on September 23rd of 2005, they got their target. On September 23rd, 2005, the anniversary of El Grito de Lares, people in solidarity with Puerto Ricans follow what the Reverend Luis Barrios says is Christ's ministry. Take their dissatisfaction with injustice to the streets. Protests and tributes weren't limited to the streets of New York and Puerto Rico. Artists, activists, labor unions lent their support in who historian Bobby Gonzalez clearly described to be a patriot. And Diana Crowder of Pro Libertad reminded us that Puerto Rico is still a colony of the United States. We had our heroes back then, our patriots like Agüepana and Guario Nex. And then in the 20th century, we had Pedro Viso Campos or De Lebron. And now in the 21st century, we had patriots like Don Filiberto Edo Rios. I think the most important thing is to remember that Puerto Rico is a colony. into this country with their sharpshooters, with the FBI's army, and kill a person in cold blood. It really um, shows just how much a colony Puerto Rico is. And it shows that around the world, if you don't have the same military might as the United States, they can walk into your country just like they did in Iraq. I think that's the significance for the, for the world. Attendees, participants, differed in age, sex, race, and political affiliations, but they were all there for the same reasons, education and solidarity. Professor Barrios is one of my professors. I respect him, and we used to follow the Young Lords a lot, so this is like homecoming. Uh, I'm with the people who want independence, colonial occupation of Puerto Rico is completely wrong, and I stand with the people who are struggling towards independence. You know, I stand for the liberation of Puerto Rico. It's, it's been too many years, and I'm here to learn about Filiberto. I don't know. I think this is a, this is somebody who a lot of people don't know a lot about, especially in my generation. And so to honor him and what in his work, um, mostly it's for me to learn and see what he's done. You know, and and it is it is a disgrace how he was murdered, and I think that we need to recognize that and continue on in his spirit. Speakers included were community organizers, political activists, and former political prisoners. Monami from Drum, attorney Ron Kirby, former political prisoners, Pam Africa, Roger Wareham, David Gilbert, Edward Cortez, Antonio Camacho Negron, Raquel Valentin, Puerto Rican youth in Puerto Rico, and Rafael Cancel Miranda. They could not kill a Filiberto. They could not kill a Che Guevara. They could not kill a Sandino, Alviso Campo, Blanca Canales, Carmen Pérez. They could not kill you. The assassination sparked the creation of a network against U.S. aggression and imperialism, honoring the anniversary of the Grito de Lares and the murder of Filiberto Ojeda Rios. September 23rd, Pro-Independence Network, or SPIN. There's a man named Luis Posada Cariles, a man who the United States welcomes in this country with open arms. 
This man has been responsible for the murder of God knows how many people. The United States doesn't have a bounty on this person. They welcomed him in their own home, in their backyard. Boy, what a sad reality. And this country says they're fighting a war on terrorism.